Course Raider here, and a happy holidays to you and your loved ones. I just wanted to make a quick video because I know having worked in the fitness world for the last decade, that this can feel like a sometimes challenging time to stay on track with our fitness goals as we go into these holiday seasons. A lot of people who are new to fitness or newly back, and honestly, people who have been doing the fitness thing for a very long time, come up against a fear of falling out of their fitness routine. So today I just wanted to share a couple quick tips with you on how to stay active through your holiday season and have a great time doing it. Not to mention, stop missing out on quality time with your family and loved ones. Here we go. So my first tip, and this one's a doozy, is to have a plan going into the holidays. A lot of the reason that we tend to not work out when we're in the flow of things is because life gets so busy with the hustle and bustle that we keep pushing back our workout, pushing back our workout, and suddenly a day is over and we're like, what just happened? I guess I'll do it tomorrow. So having an idea of when you're gonna work out during your holiday break and bonus points, having an idea of what you're gonna do because once you have those things solidified, then you take the hard part out and that hard part is the thinking. So that can be done a couple of ways. You could either program your full week, knowing exactly what workouts you're going to do. Maybe YouTube workouts, maybe having your trainer write them for you. Maybe you decide that each day at a certain time, that's going to be your workout time and you can just share it with the family. Maybe invite them along. Stay tuned. That's a spoiler. Or maybe you just have an idea of looking day to day and really just plot it like, okay, Monday, I have the evening. Tuesday, I have an afternoon break when the kids are out with grandma. So you can sort of break it down individually. Whatever works best for you, having a plan of action going into this week is a great way to make sure that you don't miss those workouts. Next up, plan to work out from home. This can make such a huge difference. I think we take for granted how much extra time it takes to travel to and from the gym, come back, shower. This is going to not only save you time, so you have more time for holiday things, but if you've got kiddos who are home from school, this saves you from having to get a babysitter or ask your partner to watch them while you go. So just have a plan for this week or however many weeks you're traveling to do body weight workouts, or if you have weights, in your bedroom, in your hotel room. The cool thing is there are so many ways you can get a really good workout in without ever needing to set foot in a gym. And if I do say so myself, there are some great options on this YouTube page. Third, we've got keep it short. Way too often I hear people say, I was gonna work out, but I just, I didn't have the time. And suddenly there it is, the day's gone by. Even when they planned ahead, they were feeling really maybe short on time, maybe tired from the food prep or taking care of kiddos. So keeping it short can be the key that makes your life feel a little bit easier when you're fitting in your workouts. And here's the great thing, just like working out from home can be really beneficial, getting any kind of movement in is going to be so good for your body. And there are a lot of short workouts that can also jack the heart rate and get you that pump. So again, check out the videos on this page or others that you like and plan on doing workouts that are 30 minutes or less. That way it's easy to sneak away and you don't necessarily feel like you have to put so much energy that maybe you don't have left over at the holidays into getting your workout in. This one is one of my favorites. Get your family involved. I did not do this one for many years and I would miss my workouts every holiday because I just sort of assumed nobody would want to work out. And I'll tell you what, they were excited when I asked them to work out with me and that got me very excited. We didn't necessarily do the workouts that I do on my own, but I got my family to really get into walking. We get really into yoga all together. So while it might not look like your regularly programmed schedule, you can get your family involved and maybe who knows, you'll start a new tradition, not to mention moving is good for the whole family. So this is not just a gift to yourself to be able to do your workout. It's a gift to your loved ones to be able to take care of their body as well. And it's just more fun. Walk more. I know it's crazy, but here's the deal. Walking is so good for us. Like I said, for my family in particular, that's one of the number one ways that I get them to exercise with me. We get outside, we get away from screens, get this quality family time. There are so many benefits of walking. And if you have time off of work, you can go on pretty long walks. And you don't, like I said, this can be 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. But if you have the time, maybe make it an outing. Go for 45 minutes, go for an hour and a half, get a little crazy. Whatever you do, you will feel huge benefits afterwards. And the final one, and this one is sort of a cheat, 
maybe just be okay taking the time off. I know, I know, but here's the deal. Rest is just as important for our bodies at workouts, and it is okay to not work out for a week. In fact, chances are, if you take a full week off of exercise, when you do get back into your routine, you're gonna feel like you have more access to gains than you've had in quite a while because your body has had time to rest and recover. Cycling is incredibly normal. Athletes do it, lifters do it, body comp people do it. It's a very common thing in fitness to cycle rest recovery. So don't feel bad. If you end up taking the full week off for the holiday, enjoy your time. Here's the big takeaway. In five years, 10 years, 20 years, when we look back on this holiday season, chances are we are not going to be running through our head with all the reps we did, how fast we got through our AMRAP or how long we ran, whatever. We won't be thinking about our workout. We're going to be thinking about the memories we created with our family. So most important thing, do your best to be present Enjoy the time you have together because at the end of the day, that's going to be what matters the most. Happy holidays, Raiders. You got this. Aroo!